Good morning, everybody. That snowfall we were talking about yesterday evening did arrive overnight. But our snow plows out here and our salt trucks have been doing a great job gotten everything cleared already at least all the major routes they try to get it all cleared all the main routes cleared by the time the morning commute starts so I mean it snows overnight when I wake up at 6 a.m. I look outside everything's already cleared and by the time I get on the road at 7 a.m. everything's salted good to go usually not all the time not every time but they're usually pretty good with it uh, they, they can't get to every road that early obviously so they do the main routes first just so that everyone can get to work. But it's Friday today. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. I guess you're watching this on Saturday. Did you have a good Friday? Do you get excited for Fridays? I do. This is a new thing for me. Weekends. So I remembered to have breakfast at home. And I also brought along my own coffee. So no need to stop at Timmy's today. I know. I just want them to know, don't be worried about me. I'm still alive, okay? Just trying to save a few pennies every now and then. It's Friday. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Better move over for him. There you go. So yeah, off to drive trucks I go. Let's see what today has in store. I've been really enjoying it. in the ditch this morning. He's real slick. The first one I've seen getting pulled out, so at least the tow trucks are out. trees 
shelter us a lot. Now it's gonna get really windy. We're really gonna see how windy it actually is. All of these houses on the right here, they don't have much shelter belt of trees, so it must get extremely windy in their yards. It's one reason I really like living in the bush. It shelters you from the worst of the weather. Just want to take it nice and easy. Don't let people behind you pressure pressure you into anything. Nobody behind me right now, but if there was, you know what? They're gonna have to go my pace. And just deal with it. Now look at this. This is gonna be fun. Let's see how windy it actually is once we get out out of these trees here. over there than it is here. That seems to be a regular occurrence. It's always worse west of Winnipeg. So if you're coming through here and you think it's all good because you're on the east side, the weather's not so not so bad, you just wait till you get to the west side and prepare yourself. It's always worse on the west side of Winnipeg. Always. Now I can see the end of the train right now. Over there. Yeah. So one of those days. It's one of those days. I'm glad I'm over here in the east, uh, southeastern part of the province. I don't know what it is, but as soon as you get to the other side of Winnipeg, there's the town called Headingley, right west of the city. If you look at the map, that's where the Flying J is. And then you head west across the prairies towards Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia. And from Winnipeg to Brandon or Mooseman, Saskatchewan, somewhere in there, it's always, always bad weather. The roads are always super slick. They often close down because they're too dangerous. It's wide open prairies with very few shelter belts. So it's very windy all the time, all year round. And uh, it can get pretty hairy there, pretty dangerous. So just a heads up if you're a, a new driver and you're coming to Manitoba and you're not from here, 
All right, the east side is usually better. The west side, watch yourself between Winnipeg and Saskatchewan. My dad's there right now. Right, he was just uh, telling us how how it looked as the traffic had come to a standstill on one side and the, the emergency vehicles can't get through because the whole highway is blocked so they're having to find alternate routes to get around to these people who need them and these accidents up ahead. I'm sure the news will be very interesting tonight. I hope everyone's okay out there. Be careful. The train was moving really slowly too. It's headed towards Winnipeg so it's probably already slowing down for the city. We're going to turn left here onto the Trans-Canada, so the divided highway. Oh, that train's actually stopping there. There's another train they're, they're meeting. Ah, okay, I get it. That's why he was going so slow. It took forever for him to get past him. Just got to wait for a little bit of traffic here, and we're going to drag ourselves onto this highway. Hopefully have no issues. There we go, after Canadian Tire. Let's go. here there's traffic coming in this lane oh there's a lot of traffic coming there's a whole parade coming just for us fantastic all right just what i wanted to do sit between the lanes sit between the highway here for 10 minutes oh wait no we can go now never mind
machine thing or a special thing that you drive under that scrapes off the top of the trailer, you can't get up there. There's no way to scrape it off. It's a fiberglass roof. If you walk on the roof, it'll just fall right through. Messy, messy day today. Messy, messy. It's hard to keep anything clean. That's winters up here though, you know? Pretty much all winter. You just hear me complaining how dirty everything is. I never used to be this way. Okay? Just pulling in here to grab some fuel. I was just reading the sign over there. It says authorized parking only. It's one thing that Steinbeck really lacks is truck parking. Like now for me, it doesn't matter. I park the truck at the yard and I go home. But for drivers who are coming in from out of town and they need a place to park for night, there's no parking in Steinbeck. None. And I'm not really sure why either. But uh, I always found it strange, you know? Say you're coming in from Ontario and you're delivering somewhere here in town and uh, you want to deliver in the morning, you want to stay somewhere in Steinbeck here. There's nowhere where they'll let you park overnight. Well, there's a few places, but you got to know. All right, you got to know. It's all about who you know in Steinbeck. <laughs> they really could use a truck stop. It doesn't have to be a big glamorous Flying J or anything, but truck parking, I think, I think it's an idea that, you know, could take off. Even if they brought a truck stop like Petro Pass into Steinbeck here with maybe like 10 to 15 parking spots, as long as it's clear that, you know, all the local drivers in town have got to leave those spots open for the, the long haul drivers that come in from out of town, then at least there's a place to park. But it's, it's, it's got to be frustrating for people who don't live here because uh, you got to park all the way up by the Trans Canada. I guess if you're coming in from Ontario, you could park in Prada at the Esso out there and come here in the morning. Or if you're coming from the west, you could park at the Petro Pass and Deacon's Corner and then come here in the morning. But I don't know. Or maybe there's a place around here that I don't know about. Very unlikely because I live here. But uh, and I've driven trucks for long enough to know that, you know, if you're planning on spending the night in Steinbeck in your truck, don't plan on spending the night in Steinbeck in your truck. All right. <laughs> it is getting a little colder. I didn't believe them. They said, watch out for the polar vortex. I didn't believe them. Let's see, what's the weather forecast? It's minus eight right now, Celsius. Yeah, the polar vortex is not coming. <laughs> it's gonna be minus six tomorrow, minus six the next day. And then it goes down to minus 20 at night, but that doesn't count, it's nighttime. <laughs> I'm not awake then, so I don't care what happens. <laughs> Just, uh, minus 15, minus 13, Monday and Tuesday. And then back to minus one next Monday. This is a very warm January. Incredible. Not complaining. Just want to be clear with that. I'm not complaining. I take it. I accept this offering of warm weather. Thank you. Who needs spoons? I gotta shovel it in. A little fruit cup. After the year that we had, a nice warm winter is nice. Grateful for it. Okay. Onwards. Right. This way.
traffic lights at the corner with Blumenor. It's either not everyone in Blumenor got the memo of how traffic lights work, or that guy was just a little impatient and couldn't wait for the green light. Either way, be careful. You never know who is filming behind you. <laughs> Red means stop, just so you know. Green means go. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, because if that's not how it works, I've had it wrong for years. Just like that. And we're done work and the weekend has begun. The snap of the fingers. Chevy. Chevy, are you excited? Excited? It's the weekend, man. It's the what? It's the, the weekend. It's the end of the week. You see, we couldn't come up with a proper name for the two days that everyone gets off every week. So we just put them at the end of the week and said it's the week end. But if you think about it, it's actually the week beginning. Because Saturday is the week end, Sunday is the week beginning. Oh no. We're gonna have to change everything. So thanks for watching today, everybody. We had a fun day at work, We're really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm doing pickup and deliveries uh, around Winnipeg and uh, you know southern manitoba and you know stuff that can get me home every day really enjoying it excited for the future i think that this is where we're going to be for a long time yet so monday is a new day let's put our best foot forward but before that we're going to enjoy the weekend okay or is it the week beginning i guess we'll never know you decide. Let me know. What is it? Is it the weekend or the week beginning? Don't say weekend just because that's what everybody else calls it. You don't want to just follow the herd. You know, you want to sometimes stick it. It's a week beginning. I don't know. I heard my name over there. What's happening? What? I'm being signed up for stuff over there. She's talking to her mom on the phone. Just signing you up for babysitting duties if mom ever gets a dog. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm signed up for dog dog duty. They're gonna have a girls trip out as soon as you know we're allowed and things open up a little bit more again. Restrictions go down. Uh, they're gonna have a girls' day, and I'm gonna be Mr. Dad watching the boys. Right, Chevy? You excited? We're gonna have a boys' day. We're gonna throw balls around. We're gonna go chase our tails, and probably go running around in the woods chasing rabbits chasing cats so much time for activities man i guess we'll see what happens <laughs> but for today i'm just gonna wrap this up thanks for watching if you like it hit the thumbs up button leave me a comment down below let me know what you think let me know what you would like to see more of and i'll see you tomorrow